Hey everybody, Tony Knott, San Francisco Bay Area and Wine Country Realtor. Today I want to show you a great condo in one of the most popular neighborhoods in San Francisco. If you love being right in the heart of all the action and walking distance to absolutely world-class dining, shopping, and entertainment, then this would be the place for you. This place here in Eureka Valley has a 100 walk score. Let me take you on inside and then I'll tell you all the details. Okay, here is an exterior shot of 32 Pond Street, right here in Eureka Valley. This shot is looking south towards Mission Dolores. Let's go on in and take a look. That's a look at Pond Street. It's a small little side street off of 16th, so really quiet. We're gonna head on into the unit now. So here we are at 32 Pond Street. Right when you walk in, you enter a small like entry hallway. I wouldn't necessarily call it a foyer, so to speak, but it is a, a, a thin hallway, probably about eight feet long. And right to your right as you enter is what's being staged as sort of a living room slash office space. It could easily be a bedroom, a third bedroom here. You could make it an exercise room, an art room, keep it as an office, or it could be a formal living room but really spacious window looks out onto pond street and you've got this really nice little seating area if you've got cats they'll probably be living right there okay so moving on before we get to the bedroom there's a little coat closet here Okay, underneath the stairs. Now the stairs, this is not a two-story. These stairs are um, the stairs on the exterior that lead up to the unit upstairs, 30 Pond Street. Okay, here's one of the bedrooms. I'm gonna step back to give you some scale here. I'm actually standing right at the closet. And again, this looks out onto Pond Street. Here's the opposite view of the bedroom. Okay. Now moving on, once we get into this part of the home, you've got another family slash living area. Now, again, what's nice about this condo is its flexible floor plan. Someone could make this a, a more of a formal dining room if they wanted to and keep the front room as sort of the living area or family room if they chose. Right off of this living area is what would be considered the primary suite, the primary bedroom, bigger than the smaller bedroom that we saw. nice you got a little uh, view straight out that window to the garden we'll take a look at that and you do have the bedroom right or the bathroom right off of this primary bedroom here and you do have a nice view out to the shared yard space out there and then this bathroom there's two entrances here directly from the bedroom And I'll show you the entrance from the hallway. Moving out again into that main living area. Got a nice big hall closet here. Got a closet storage, like a system set up. And here's your entry into the bathroom off the hallway. Really nicely done. And then we move into the kitchen slash dining area. Nice stainless steel appliances. Every 
everything recently updated in this kitchen. So it's really a nice space, really bright and light with that um, sun, which is this window probably faces west, I'm going to guess. Um, but you get a lot of nice light out here that you can see um, to the yard space. You have that eat-in kitchen area. This would be some southern light coming in here, which means you're going to have a lot of light in this kitchen really all day long. Really nice and bright. Just a cheery room. And then we'll head out to the shared yard space. Now this is really nice and special to have in San Francisco. Got some nice foliage. Right. Let's take one more look at the kitchen dining area and we'll move back towards the front of the home. Forgot to mention the washer dryer in the unit. So that's in a closet space right off the kitchen. Again, bathroom, closet, family area, living room area, however you might choose to design it. Primary bedroom. Second bedroom. And again, what's being currently staged as a formal living room or office area, but could certainly be um, a formal dining room or living area, could be an art room, a yoga room, could be even another bedroom. Okay, so that is 32 Pond Street. Now, let me tell you a little bit about this property. This is a two bedroom, one bath condo. List price is $1,195,000. It's got HOA fees of $255 a month, which is really low. I've seen fees as, as high as $1,500. Uh, 978 square feet. It's got uh, one car parking and additional storage in the garage, which is nice. And this really wonderful backyard here that I'm standing in. And one of the things that I love best about this property is its location. Like I mentioned, it's a 100 walk score, which means you're so centrally located. Pond Street is a small street, almost like an alley, half a block from Market Street right off of 16th. Market, of course, has a muni that runs up and down uh, Market Street. It can take you right downtown. You have DeBose Park that's a, just a couple blocks away. You've got the Castro Street, which also is just a couple blocks away. You have Mission Dolores Park, also just a few blocks away, and Dolores Heights and a couple blocks further the Mission. So you really are in a prime location here. You've got fantastic uh, entertainment, nightlife, and shopping and dining right outside your front door. So really, that's what really sets this property apart. If you want to see this property, if you have any questions about it, you'd like to take a tour, feel free to get in touch. I'm happy to help.